I'm Matt Waymeyer with the MLB.com FastCast. The Royals proved that they can play multifaceted baseball. Gerard Dyson brought home the go-ahead run on a safety squeeze, and Mike Moustakis punctuated the inning with a three-run shot to deliver a 5-1 win over the Pirates and a series win as well for KC. Yadier Molina is not usually known for his speed, but all that changed in the eighth inning on Wednesday when Yadi cleared the bases for a three-run triple to erase a two-run deficit to the White Sox. It was Molina's first triple since 2011. St. Louis would hold on for a 3-2 win. The Halo streak tied to seventh heaven. Johnny Giovatella and Cole Calhoun combined to go six for eight, and Houston Street locked down his 300th career save in a 5-2 win over the Twins. The Angels have won at seven in a row. Taylor rips it to left. Desmond scores. Here comes Dendecker. The Nats finally get that big hit. Michael Taylor came through for the Nats with a huge two-run single in the eighth inning to tie the game and later scored the winning run on Danny Espinosa's double as the Nationals shocked the Mets 4-3. to three. The Yankees used a text message from Mark Teixeira and an A-bomb from A-Rod to power past the Orioles 4-3 and widen the gap in the American League East. Mike Bolsinger is the latest Dodgers pitcher with a dominant outing. The righty turned in seven innings, allowing just an unearned run in the Dodgers' 3-1 win over the Braves. As usual, the Astros rode a home run barrage to a victory. Preston Tucker belted a pair, and Evan Gaddis added one of his own in the Astros' 4-2 victory over the Red Sox to push Boston's losing streak to an unlucky seven. Nick Castellanos mashed his first career grand slam as the Tigers exploded for eight runs in the third as Detroit downed the Mariners 9-4 and got back to 500 on the season. Nelson Cruz blasted a pair of home runs in the loss for the M's. The Reds got plenty of offense out of Todd Frazier and Joey Votto, who each recorded three hit games. But the main story was Mike Week, as he turned in eight stellar innings, setting down the final 17 Cubs he faced, as the Reds took the opener of the day-night twin bill 9-1. The nightcap made up for the lack of drama in the opener. Tied at five runs apiece in the ninth, Pinch hitter Taylor Teagarden delivered for the Cubbies with a two-out ribby single off a Rodas Chapman to deliver a 6-5 win for Chicago after trailing 5-0. In the doubleheader, Joey Votto reached base nine times, becoming the first player to do that since Robinson Cano back in 2010. Odubel Herrera delivered for the Phillies with a walk-off single in the 10th inning to secure a 5-4 win over the Rays. Elvis Presley may have left the building, but Elvis Andrews is alive and well. Andrews stuck a ninth inning bases loaded single past a diving Nolan Arenado, and the Rangers down the Rockies at Coors Field 10 to 8. Buster Posey opened up the floodgates, and the Giants never looked back as they scored three runs in the seventh and eighth to hand the Padres a 7 1 loss. Jose Fernandez remained perfect on the year as he bumped his record to 3-0. Fernandez fanned a season-high 11 over 7 innings of work and also added a ground rule RBI double as the Marlins reeled in the Diamondbacks 5-3. But there was a scary moment in the game when David Peralta was hit in the head by a Fernandez fastball. He would leave under his own power. Down three runs early in the game, Michael Brantley brought the drive right back. Brantley mashed a three-run game-tying homer and later broke the tie with an RBI single, and Cleveland never looked back. Indians 7, Milwaukee 5. And finally, Ike Davis has never been accused of being fleet of foot, but in the 10th, he motored down the line to just beat out an infield hit. After review, the call stood, and the Athletics enjoyed the walk-off win. Oakland 4, Toronto 3. For more on Wednesday stories and for all your latest MLB news, stay with MLB.com. It's baseball everywhere.